Hi, everyone. <clears throat> this is oh. <laughs> season one. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's episode. Oh. Hmm. That's so bad. Um, I think it's episode five of Grown in Gospel. Um, so let's talk about Grown in Gospel. Let me see. Let me zoom, 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 zoom. Oh, no, no. It's episode four. Sorry. Of Grown in Gospel. Okay, let's talk about it. Okay, so Tasha and Nikki are having a conversation and I'm gonna be honest, I don't understand why they got married. I don't understand how he married her. It feels like you liked her, you got her all caught up, and you did this major switch through and six months in the marriage and you're just like yeah I don't really want to be with her take your wedding ring off I'm gonna be honest I think that he doesn't like women his mannerisms or maybe he's bi it feels like he married her as a cover because of marrying her into royalty, into gospel royalty. And it doesn't, and so it's good for his name to marry her, but I don't think that he really, really was into her at all. Elijah waiting on Brie um for an hour and a half I think was a lot I would have left I would have but Elijah gets on her to be like what if this is what if this was a part of your career like what what would you have done and what if this was a show um I think that he was from that point I think that that was unnecessary because I don't think that Brie is unprofessional in regards to if this was about a job, she probably would have made arrangements. But I also don't think that it's good friendliness to treat someone like that. And the least you can do, no, you couldn't have, no, you couldn't, you didn't, you could not have answered the phone because you're on a business call. I get that. But there is text messaging now. <laughs> And you could have texted him and been like, yeah, I'm going to be late. Yeah, I don't know. I'm on this phone call. So maybe you just pick a gift and you, know, you could have done something. You could have communicated because I can be on the phone too and text. Um, I do not like the fact that he kept like shading her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not paying for the gift. So what's the problem? You ain't got, and she's like, I got five on it. <laughs> um, I do agree with Shayna. They they do Elijah and Bree have a conversation about Shayna. And I agree with Elijah on this point that why is it our problem? Like this seems like a y'all problem. And I agree. So um, but I will say, and I said it in the last video, that Tasha's husband is a liar. And I think. This is what I'm saying. Like, I don't understand why I, I go back to, I don't know why Tasha's husband married her. I think that Tasha's husband is a liar. And there's many reasons, but I but I understand why Tasha would not want to call her husband a liar because he's number one, a minister. And number two, you don't want to call your husband a liar because... He's your husband. You want to believe him. And you want to hope that he's not, you know, why would he lie? So I think it's twofold. Your husband, he, him being a husband and a minister and a pastor, you would think that he'd be honest and wouldn't be lying on people, right? 
Um, the crew all come together and because Brie called the crew together and she tells them that she used to be a stripper. And I do understand, I, I loved everyone's response. Jay's comment, like, not my, not my money, not my circus. So it's like he stays out of people's business. I don't like Nikki's response talking about get the money, get the money. And she, I was just like, hmm. It's a thin line between comforting <laughs> and then I'm shaking my head like, so is this the reason why we're condoning the fact that your husband is in jail and we're not even going to say that he's in jail for like, it's, it seems like there's no remorse here that he did something that clearly violated the law. Um, cause nobody's saying that he didn't do it. And his nickname when he calls in to her is fast cash. He didn't call himself Dion. Like my name is fast cash. And I'm like, well, so you went to jail either for drugs, selling drugs or some type of money scheme. Um, I guess, and I think it's drugs though. Okay. <clears throat> Sasha goes to the attorney. Um, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be a difficult divorce because they don't really have much to share since they barely were living together. So that's kind of you know ridiculous. Jay, Tasha, and Nikki and Elijah get together. They have Clearly, they have mixed feelings about because they're talking about Brie. Jay is like, well, I think that it could be a problem for Brie. Everybody else is like, nah, this is what a testimony is for. And now nah, it's not like we haven't done anything bad, too. And it seems like, okay, everybody is. Um, except Jay is a little on the on the fence. Elijah makes a comment that is just so. Okay, honestly, I don't think that what Elijah did was that bad. But things there are certain things that are touchy topics, right? And so a touchy topic for her is this. Me and my husband are not like her, her and her husband's relationship. And so if I'm already getting some pushback and people don't necessarily want to hear, I'm going to be on it. Okay. When my husband and I had our first child, that first, I would say after a few months, the newness wore off of the baby. And we had such a difficult first year. Had no idea. And if we were going to push forward I have no idea how we push forward honestly and there were people around me that didn't necessarily you could tell I could tell I didn't want to hear how things were going um and they put distance themselves from me and I honestly just became even more a recluse and and I felt much 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 alone um so any little thing saying well, what you gonna do you gonna do this oh what happened like I mean any little thing like that probably would have sent me over the edge because she's just not in a place to hear that so I don't think that technically what he did was bad and was wrong but I think that he doesn't see and 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 to be fair he wouldn't see because he's on the other side of it um he's and he's probably just tired of hearing the hoopla over and over again and it's unfortunate because we we need someone to talk to that's a friend 
And unfortunately, your friends are kind of tired of being that person for you. And which then makes you more isolated and you're hurt. And unfortunately, your friends tend to be the losers of this scenario. And it's not, you know, I'm not saying that what Elijah did was wrong. I'm just saying that I think that she's also, Tasha was very sensitive in this moment. And Elijah was not cognizant of it. Because Elijah is self-centered. Um, and he is accurate by, um, but he is very harsh for sure. Um, girl, Bree's outfit to the baby shower was just not it. I hated that outfit with the passion. I don't know. It's a, the dress that didn't go crushed velvet. It looked like crushed velvet. Did not match the hat. And the, it, the the outfit was not it anyway. But I'm not a big fan of crush velvet, um, a whole crush velvet dress. Anyway, Tasha and Brie were talking, and you can clearly tell that I appreciate that Brie was really trying to be there for Tasha. What I don't appreciate is that Brie was really pushing. Brie was really, really pushing for um, saying, well, there's hope, there's hope. And it's like, I'm going to need you to pause and listen. There isn't hope for her in her marriage. Okay? And Tasha keeps saying it, but Brie is like, I'm still praying. No listen okay Tasha doesn't need that so Nikki and Tasha um are come together they don't look as content to be at this baby shower the tea I don't understand Elijah not having a teapot but I do appreciate that Shayna Nikki and Tasha and Brie all come together and they talk and Tasha has to apologize when she's like, I spoke to the source of the drama that started with us. They made the whole thing up. Now, to me, I think that that was a stretch. I was like, wow, you made the whole, so her husband made the whole thing up. I could have sworn that maybe some of it was true, but to make the whole thing up, that is pathological. Anywho. Elijah and Tasha talk and Elijah uh, was, I, when he said it, even in a low term, low term saying, lower your tone, we would have had a problem because that's not how you speak to me. And then when he yelled at her, I was like, okay, now we're doing the most. Now you do realize that Jay is, um, Jay is the older brother and he is like what you're not going to do is yell at Tasha I am so sorry y'all that the whole light thing went off and my whole light thing oh my gosh Is is that light now? Oh my god. Okay, I am so sorry. Uh, and I'm almost done too, right? Sorry about that. Okay, so Jay does speak up for yelling at Tasha, and I appreciate that he should have spoken up. I think he should have stood, but that probably would have escalated things. Um Elijah is a lot and I don't there's so many reasons to not like Elijah she he I don't see how he could be there's a lot of reasons to like Elijah I liked how he responded to Brie but and that he does have his moments but it's hard to deal with Elijah 
in a consistent basis. You have to really deal with them in dosages. Okay. But we'll see. I mean, this show is very, very good. And I really, really enjoy it like every episode because it does bring a different dimension. So, um, and on that note, I will see you all next week.